Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the new free-to-play quest, The Corsair Curse. There are no quest or stats requirements, but you will need to be able to fight a level 35 mage. There are also no item requirements, but what I suggest you to bring is a weapon to kill that level 35, as well as some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion. If you are in free-to-play watching this, just bring nothing and approximately 5 regular energy potions should be enough. Now where to start this quest is right here just north of Port Serum, just south of the Falador farm. Here you'll find the quest sign and Captain Talk. Let's talk to him. Select the second option, what kind of help you need. First option, sure. I will now see a fade out and the NPC now has moved to the most northern dock just south of the pub of Port Serum. So let's go there. This is also the location where you start the free to play quest Pirates Treasure. South of Redbeard Frank, let's cross that gangplank and go on the boat. Here in the northwestern corner, let's talk to Captain Tuck once again. And say, okay, I'm ready to go to Corsair Curve. Corsair Cove. Alright, once you've arrived, let's cross the gangplank and go west. Now just keep running west, following the shore until you see a large, dark, grayish... Oh, here it already is. These are some rocks. And south of the rocks, there should find a tropical tree. Click on the southern part and you should take a spade. Next, let's continue following the shore once you have this spade until you see a house here just south. Let's climb up these stairs and inside there should find Ithoi the navigator. Let's talk to him. Select the first option, I heard that you have been cursed. Skip through the dialogue and let's go back south. Let's exit his house. Next, let's go north. Just keep going north and enter the first house that you see, just a bit northeast. South of the shortcut sign, let's climb up the stairs and here we should find the cook. Let's talk to him. Select the first option, I heard you've been cursed. And this will trigger a cutscene. And he had buried that doll. Next, next to him, there will find on the floor a tinderbox. Let's take it and climb down these stairs once again. Next, go a little bit east and enter the first house that you see. And climb the stairs which are just behind this wall. In the northwestern corner, they'll find Arson the thief. Let's talk to him and select the first option. I heard you've been cursed. After speaking to him, we'll need to talk to the cabin boy Colin just in the northeastern corner and select the first option too. This will trigger another cutscene that he has spotted a mermaid while uh, observing the telescope here at the navigator. After the cutscene is over, let's go back downstairs and let's return to the captain on the boat.
The captain is located on the boat of the southern transportation sign. Let's cross the gangplank and let's talk to Captain Talk. Select the first option about Arson taking a sacred ogre relic. And you'll get it back. Next, let's return to the navigator's house, which if you have remembered, it is the most southwestern one. Alright, let's climb back up those stairs and next to the stairs they'll find the telescope. Let's observe through the telescope what the cabin boy observed with all those blow kisses and stuff. Okay, that is the curse of the cabin boy cleared. Let's go back downstairs. And let's continue following the shore west until you see a fishing spot. Next to that fishing spot and next to that tropical tree we should find some sand. It looks like a bit of a rock crab. Let's stand next to it and dig with our spade or use your spade on it and select the first option to search for the doll. And the clockwork doll will now walk into the ocean and that is the second curse lifted. Next let's go a bit northeast until you see a dungeon sign. Let's enter the dungeon sign, there's nothing going to be attacking you once you've entered this hole. And next to the vine ladder there you'll find the chief Tess. Let's talk to her and select the first option I've came to return what arson stole. And this will be then the third and the last curse cleared. So let's climb up the ladder and let's return to the cook. We now need to talk to all three NPCs to say that their curses have been lifted. So first the most western house, let's talk to the cook. And then let's enter the second house to talk to the cabin boy and the thief. Alright, after you've spoken to the three characters, let's return to the captain to see what we can do next. Select the first option, I have ruled out the Corsair theories. Select the first option again, what do I do now? Alright, let's cross the gangplank and let's return to the cook. Let's talk to the cook and select the first option, what happened after dinner. Well, the curses happened after dinner, but he actually didn't cook the dinner. The navigator did it, so exit his house and let's go a bit southwest and let's return to the navigator. Let's talk to Ithoi. Select the first option, I've heard that you cooked the meal. And then select the second option, I don't know your reason. And I will need to find a reason why he poisoned the crew. So let's go back downstairs and let's return to Arson, the thief that is lying next to the cabin boy. Select the first option, so the captain is thinking about firing Ethoi. Then select the first option, what is the mission of Francois? That is a secret. So let's go back downstairs and let's return to... Uh, wait. Okay, let's now return to the navigator because now we know a reason why he has poisoned the crew. Let's confront him with our new knowledge.
So select the first option once again. And then select the first option once again that the captain might be firing him. All right, and now he has confessed. Let's return to the captain to say that he has admitted poisoning the crew. Select the first option, Ethoy admits that he poisoned this too. Captain Talk does not believe you. So let's go back downstairs and let's return to Ethoy, the navigator, the most southwestern house. Talk to Ethoy the Navigator once again. Select the first option that you've faked the curse. Let's select the first option once again. I can prove what you've been up to. Next, exit his house. And underneath his house, there will find some driftwood. Use your tinderbox on it. And this should trigger a cutscene. Okay, let's now return to the captain to see that he's now well enough to walk around and even cast magic. After we've returned to the captain, it is time to fight the Comet 35 Ethoi that uses a couple of basic spells. So let's first talk to the captain, select the first option that he's been running around. And I select the third option, I will be back. So if you have not prepared to fight the Comet 35 Mage, right click and travel with Captain Talk back to Port Serum and prepare. Once you have prepared, let's return to Ethoy and once we have climbed up to his uh, floor, he will start attacking us. Once he has been defeated, let's go back downstairs. Let's return to the captain to complete our quest and claim our reward. Select the first option that you have killed Ithoi for poisoning your crew. And this should be quest completed. Congratulations, you have completed the Corsair Curse. You are rewarded with two quest points, access to the Corsair Cove facilities. This should basically be just the bank here, just north of the docks. This was my guide how to complete the Corsair Cove quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.